Hey everyone, Technoman here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's stuck on install now for iOS 18 update. So let's get started. Generally, there's a couple reasons why this is happening and follow these steps in order to fix it. First thing is pull down the control menu, put your phone on airplane mode and turn it off briefly. And then there's a quick network refresh. And then you're going to go into your settings, go to general software update and check for the update. And then you're going to try to reinstall it right here now if that didn't work go back again where it says automatic updates you're going to click on that and we're going to want to go ahead and turn all of these settings off go back and then click on automatic updates and then turn these settings on and then go ahead and retry to do the update itself now along with that you want to also ensure that your phone is at least 50 percent or more charged as you can see i have 43 percent charge i would need to connect it to a charger when i'm installing the update for it to work correctly and then along with that is you want to ensure in the main settings here back to the main settings go down where it says battery where it says low power mode we want to make sure that setting is turned off if you have that setting turned on it will interfere with uh, update itself so we're going to turn that setting off now along with that the next thing you want to check in your settings in the main settings we're going to go to general and then you want to see where it says bpn and device management if you have a VPN turned on I would recommend turning it off and then doing the update and then of course you can turn it back on whenever the update is complete and you can install it now along with that the next thing you want to do is this process where you're going to locate the volume up volume down button and this big side button you're going to do this press and release the volume up press and release the volume down and then hold on to this side button until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear so we're going to wait for the Apple logo to appear. And this process basically shuts down the phone and then reloads the code. As you saw, I let go of that side button once you see the Apple logo. And you might have to do it a few times if you do, or can't get the hang of it. Sometimes it takes a while, so I just do volume up, volume down, and then hold on to the side button, basically shutting down the phone software and reloading the code so that if a software-related issue causing that iOS 18 to be stuck on install now it will go ahead and fix it now after you have done that the next thing to do is go into your setting on your iPhone this time we're going to go to general and then click on iPhone storage and then we're going to make sure that we have at least 10 gigs or more available in order to successfully do the update so where it says for me it says 92 gigs you want to ensure that you have at least 10 gigs or more if you don't you want to delete some apps some messages maybe some longer format videos basically to free up some space and then retry it now along with that you want to go down this list and see if there's an ios update already there that was trying to install it's going to show up as software update and you want to delete that update so if you see it on that list you might not you want to go ahead and click on it and then click on delete update that will remove the old update so you can try to reinstall the new update again now along with that the next thing you want to check in the settings here in the main settings go to general and then go to date and time you want to make sure your date and time is set correctly right here if not you can turn that set automatically off and then manually make sure the time zone date and time is correct especially if you moved around that could be defaulted to the old settings ideally it should be ID automatically set but if you just don't see it correctly you can manually set it and then retry to install the update again one more time now if you're still having the issue the next thing to do is go into your settings go to general all the way down where it's transfer reset iphone click on reset and you're going to do a network reset when you do a network reset basically it resets anything network related such as saved wi-fi or bluetooth connected device but important step to do if you're simply having the issue of not being able to install that ios 18 update and it's still stuck and after you have done all of this and it's simply not working it might be time to try it on a computer using iTunes if you have a Windows or PC or if you have a newer MacBook you can use the Finder app to go ahead and do the update which we show you in another video I'll leave a link for that in the comment or the description section so you can check that video out it will take a little bit more time to do and I hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices we'll see you guys next time